Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargame video today by me Vulcan. Today I have another deck video for you guys where I'm going to be joined by Bubblebox and Silver Raptor. Please make sure that you check out Bubblebox's channel in the description below and if you want more videos like this then please make sure you also check out the playlist that will be linked below. So in this video we're going to be going through our decks, our deck selection and the reason for our unit choices. And in this one we're going to be looking at the Eastern Bloc deck after previously looking at the East German, Polish and Czechoslovakian decks separately. To start off with we're going to have Silver Raptor talking us through his logistics units. First I want to say when I was designing this deck I was also thinking in mind of the Eastern Bloc uh, in terms of uh, expected fight. So when I chose the FOB, because there's three different nations, I chose the East Germans because I thought they're the most forward of the operating bases. Okay. It's something silly like that, I guess. Uh, next up for the command vehicle, I've got the East German uh, FUPZ BMPT, BMP2 with its uh, auto cannon for defense. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yep, uh, so it can defend itself. Uh, I think we explained it in the last video. For uh, supply, I have uh, one stack of the MI6s from uh, the Polish, uh, with their massive supply. And then yep. I've got some uh, Czechoslovakian uh, Kolos to be able to run back and forth between those helicopters and the ground units. Sure, sure. What about you, Vulcan? Uh, I've got the Scott R3 uh, Polish uh, command vehicle. Um, fast, amphibious, um, really good for getting out of sticky situations uh, because of the uh, 75 kilometer per hour speed off road sure um, then i've got a uh, card of command infantry in mi8ts i've got the polish command infantry and i like having the mi8ts uh, for you know you can use them as like fire support in the sky in like in the air and um, it's tempting to take like the MI 17s because they have like the better rockets. Like, they have less of them, but the 122 millimeter rockets are really strong. But I think yeah. the MI 8T is, is good enough, and you know, you can just fly back and relo reload it. It kind of does the same thing, maybe with just a little bit less impact. Um, sure. And then I have if... the um, VLKV T 815s, basically the Coloss, but the East German variant. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Oh, that's it, right. So your, your usual two commands, which is good for conquest games. Well, me and Silver are more used to playing destruction, so we generally go for one. But yeah, cool. What was that, um, Silver? If I, yeah, uh, if I may ask, Vulcan, uh, what is what's your deciding factor between the different uh, infantry commands? Because you, you have both Polish, Czechoslovakian, and East German infantry you could have chosen from. Uh, nothing, really. Hot luck. Yeah, Hot luck. <laughs> yeah I, just, <laughs> I just pick whatever. Um the east german don't have like the standard mi8 they have the mi8 ntv so they cost a bit more that's why i just went for the cheapest one basically uh -huh. the reason why is because i'm like comparing the polish and czechoslovakian uh the czechoslovakian light machine gun have a higher rate of fire than the polish and all that yeah, so i was wondering really what at the end of the nah, day it's all the same <laughs> I, I've, I've got the infantry as well in the mi4 t is exactly the same mi6 is kolos and i've got a fob as well so, should we move forward to the infantry? Uh, Vulcan, yep. what have you got for your infantry? Uh, so, to start off, I have the LSTR 40s in SBW 80s. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, we've talked about most of these units before in the last few deck videos, but um, in general, just a great versatile unit. It has the 24 AP power on its heat rocket, which is amazing uh, at taking out tanks. And it does have an 875 meter range, so that is pretty decent as well. And then it also has that Igla missile, 4 HE power, a uh, couple of shots is going to take down most helicopters, um, and also has a decent chance at you know hitting aircraft if they fly over because of the 55% accuracy. So really good for for helping out defending towns or you know moving through forests. Uh, really good for that kind of thing. Yeah, I've got them as well. Then I have for my regular kind of infantry, I have the Nabisky Beretti. I have. Uh, those in topazes the five point topaz and just really good 15 strength squad shock training um just generally really strong with their cqc machine gun and decent accuracy and decent stabilizer um more sort of 
a defensive troop or they're good in forest as well because generally when you're fighting in forest you're static um they're not really great for assaulting towns i wouldn't say because they, they they're not great on the move because the stabilizers aren't as good as other infantry yeah. squads Mm -hmm. So they're more like defensive or forest fighting troops, and but they are really, really good in that situation. Yeah, and 15 strength, yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, then I have the Commandosi. I'm actually bringing these in in the MI24Ds. Ha ha! Um, I have been converted by <laughs> Silver Raptor uh, when we were going <laughs> through the other decks. I was uh, tempted to try this out. And um, yeah. Are they elite? Um, no, I, I brought them in veteran because I wanted the availability of the Commandosi. But uh, still, really, really strong helicopter that you get with these. And I think maybe the, the points cost of the helicopters is just like really worth it. Because if you look at like the price of a standard MI24D, um, like a kind of a, like a better variant, um, it's going to cost. It's, it's double the price. Yeah, it's almost double the price, exactly. Um, so you're getting like a 55 point helicopter that's really decent because it's vetted. Uh, yeah, if it, if it's especially if it's elite, uh, then it has like a 70 percent accuracy with those Fleta missiles, and if you get side shot, they can kill most tanks anyway. Um, when yeah. it comes to like the veterancy, uh, the, it's it's compounding. It's it's not like it it doesn't add to the accuracy on. It's it's. 35% of 35% accuracy it's not added right. on so it's not technically 70% um, it's more yeah. like 50-ish <laughs> plus you get se you get 7 as well rather than 5 don't you so yeah so anyway yeah. I've uh, yeah got the Commandosi 7 of those um, cool. then to follow up on that I have the Sapersi Stamovi which are the Polish flame infantry uh, they have the shock in the shock training um so they're really good for like fighting uh, in towns and so on because they do suppress infantry very very quickly and they're you know the napalm launcher is like really decent you know for infantry fighting of course yeah so just like having those up there enough. yeah um in addition they're also a strength of 10 yeah exactly they have the strength of 10 um then we have for my last infantry unit the uh, leka pehota and <laughs> These are like a similar thing to the Nabisky Beretti, but they have the uh, VZ-25, which has a 30% stabilizer. So they're the ones that you would take to assault towns and so on. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. And that's everything, yeah. And they, they, also, one, have, one more. they also have the, uh, you know, 1,225 meter uh, heat a rocket. Well, it's not really a rocket. The, I think it's a recoilless rifle. Yeah, it looks like a recoilless rifle. It's basically yeah. APC stay away from this town kind of Yeah, thing. it's really, really strong for that. Mm. Yep. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's my five cards. What have you got, Silver? Anything different uh, than that? But, well, for me, I got the Commodosi, but I didn't get them in the MI24Ds because this deck is more of a uh, group fight together. I've got two cards of Commodosi and Scott two A's. Uh, because they're going to be sort of my, they're going to be my front line uh, unit. Uh, I just got to be a little more careful with them. Uh, to back them up, I've got uh, Leka uh, Pakotas like you, Vulcan, uh, to keep APCs away uh, and help uh, assault, keep them in front of the Commandosi. And then I've also got to back them up with AA is LSTR 40s. Okay, you got your Commandosis in Scott two A's. Yeah. Do you get? A, don't you get a free? Maluka has got two AMs. Check that out. Maybe I think two M. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Get the, get I'm going the, to be, get I'm, the upgrade. I'm going to be changing. I'm going to be changing that in a bit. Okay. Um, cool. But I do have a Scott two AM with uh, Stromos. Uh, Stromos. However you pronounce that. Yeah. Uh, the, the Napalm Ten Squad, like you. Uh, those next two Kamatozi would literally be a very, very scary force to fight in a town. Okay. What else? Anything different? You got the LSTRs as well, have you? Uh, yeah, LSTR 40s. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've got the LSTRs in Choppers, MI8TVs, though, just a little rocket pod. I've got some Conkers, a little bit different than you guys. I've got some PTRS Conkers, again, in MI4s, um, just to get them to and from more than to do anything with. 
And then I've got some Leica Schutzen in Mi 24 A's. Don't think you guys had them, which is shock infantry, just to spread around the place. Um, uh, they've got the little Metis uh, anti tank weapon as well on the, on those. And then I've got the Niberskis, the uh, 15 squad, uh, 15 man squads in the Topazes, same as Vulcan. And then I haven't got the Commandoses. Um, I don't know why. I've got the uh, the militia. I've got the uh, a whole shitload of militia in cheap trucks as well, and that's my infantry. Is that the uh, Panzer of Nisi? The Zaloz Zaloznisi. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> they, they, they don't look good on paper, but they're only five points. So I've had a little practice uh, with yeah, them. Yeah. Okay. They're not, they're not. They're not too bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get the, t the tone of um, voice says it all. Yeah, when you're taking reserve infantry, I, I don't mm. particularly like uh, the was it the Zalos Nisi, mainly yeah. because they have a rifle, which is really slow rate of bolt, fire, bolt, bolt action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, whereas the World War res II. reserve shoots in have the like MPIK, which is basically like a like a crappy AK. The, yeah, the only, I th the the only, only reason is, is the accuracy. No, the only reason I didn't get the reserve shoots is because the trucks cost twice as much, and I I don't want to get a truck. Oh, that is as much actually as a very infantry. good point. Yeah, yeah, that's the only reason really. But yeah, they've got a better primary for sure. Yeah, yeah, and that's my infantry. So, moving on to the support. Uh, uh, Silver, what you got? I've got the uh, Odd Davis. Uh, because of course, I love these. I love these artillery pieces. Okay. And I or... I also got the MFRW BM27, the Smirch variant of the East Germans. Okay. With their the AP power, so I've got the high explosive and the uh, AP power uh, artillery. I then have my eighty point new ones. The uh, slower but more armored variant of it uh, and cheaper uh, for anti-air support followed up by the uh, FLA SFL of the East Germans the Tuguska variant and then of course the Czechoslovakian Strop 2s for uh, extra AA okay cool and that's everything yeah yep what do you reckon then Silva have you got anything different than that I'm sure you have Vulcan Vulcan, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the uh, on Davis. I've got the newer and the Flyer SFL, uh, very similar to uh, Silver Raptors stuff. Which, which newer do you have, the MAV or the WV? Oh, I have the uh, the wheeled variant. The yeah, I thought so. Um, but other than that, I have my Sapel. I really like the Sapel. I think it's a incredibly good uh, infrared AA support unit yeah and then i have some osa ak's uh, for the cheap uh, anti-air radar missiles which are just brilliant uh, for your like initial pushes especially against uh, helicopter rushes these things are, in are incredible for that mm -hmm. um the seven he powers one shots helicopters out of the sky uh, so it's just yeah just really really powerful yeah i've got the stop l's and the s flat sfl's as well um, a nice combination, and uh, I saw what they did. I think you brought them out in the uh, one of the videos, and they did really well against the infantry as well, didn't they? Yeah, and we pushed yeah, into that town. So S -Z -U, really, good. really, really useful. Yeah, cool. What else? Oh, was that everything? That was everything. Yes. Yeah, I've got the Osas as well, mainly for the uh, um, the aircraft. Really, I main anti-air. So I've got the, fl the SFLs and the Osas and the Sopels. And then for my artillery, I've got two sets of rocket artillery. I've got the RM-70s and the RM-70s. And I've got them just to confuse the enemy because they're both called exactly the same thing. But one has AP rounds and the other one has HE rounds. And I don't know why they're called exactly the same thing, which is a bit weird. Well, so, you got the, so you got the Czech variant and the Polish variant. Yeah, but one fires HE yeah. and the other one fires AP. Yeah, so yeah, I've got those two as well for my artillery. We'll see how those work out. Don't know my games. Yeah, mind games, mind games, always mind games. Of okay. course, if they get a good side of it and they just hit I, they'll know exactly which variant it is. True. So, moving on to the tank department. Who's first on this one? I think Falcon. 
Go ahead. Um, okay, so I've got the T seventy two M two Moderna. Yeah. yeah. Now I was tempted to take the Twadi uh, instead of the Moderna because it has mm-hmm. like a higher rate of fire, and I just I think the Twadi has like more to give. Like it's it's lacking the auto cannon that the Moderna has, but the Twadi, you know, it's it's a that extra rate of fire really makes it strong against tanks. It also has more accuracy, a better stabilizer. Um, just really, really good for um, those games where you're not necessarily coming against like super heavies. You're coming against like medium tanks and so on. Uh, so it's and really you can good. Bring at, in more. Yeah, it's really good at p- picking them off. Um, but in this case, I did take this T72 M2 Moderna because it is um, Eastern block, and we do have like the extra uh, tanks to choose from which can support this. So yeah, I got the the. Uh, Moderna, 70 km per hour speed, really nice, uh, really good assaulting tank, like we've said before. Um, has the 23 hate, uh, AP power and 21 front armor. So really, really strong tank. Um, just really love it. Then we have uh, the T-72S I have after that. 135-point um, tank. Uh, it does come with a HGM, but... Um, you know, keeps up in terms of accuracy, front armor, and AP power, and it's considerably cheaper than the super heavies. Um, has a 70 km per hour speed, and yeah, that that you can do the um, HGM trick with this tank, so that makes it even stronger. Um, does mm-hmm. lack a little bit in side armor, which does get it caught out occasionally, but in general, a really strong tank for its price. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then to follow up that, I have the T72 M1 Wilk. Um, again, really good value for money, 50% accuracy, um, 15 front armor, a little bit better side armor than the uh, T-72S actually, but, um, you know, just nine rate of fire, just incredibly strong tank for 85 points, four HE power, 18 AP power. It's just, you know, has a good punch for the medium tanks. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then and, to yeah. yeah to follow up on that, I have the T seventy two M, basically the upgraded T seventy two, has the forty five percent accuracy for AP um, for HE power, uh, for fourteen AP power, really good for pushing through forests and stuff. You know, good good for su- supporting tank for mm. uh, infantry. Has the uh, twelve front armor. Um, just really, really good value for money again. I basically tried to go through all of the tanks on the Eastern Block and just pick like the best value for money out of all okay. of um, the combinations. So I've got two Czech tanks and two Polish tanks. Yep, and it has the eye, which is the main thing. So <laughs> yeah. Have that. Cool. Okay, Silva, what have you got? I've got the Moderna as well. Uh, I just think auto cannons on top of tanks are kind of OP. They can defend themselves relatively well against helicopters if they're in the forest, which most tanks are. And it's a very good tank. I've got the KPZ uh, T-72S with its uh, anti-ATGM uh, as well uh, to help support it up. And then I also got the T-72 M1M check variant which has this kind of same weapons as a t72 but less protection so it's more just like do i think that uh these would be a more supported role i'd be able to keep the back a little further than the t72 m1m uh you know for more uh, support i can just get more of them and then finally i was actually converted instead of getting one of the 15 pointers for uh supplements i actually got the regular t72 which uh i think one of you guys pointed out is uh pretty good variant uh for its price yeah it's okay for a cheapo yeah not too bad yeah um, i was focusing on the he power of four all my tanks have he power of four right okay yeah i've only got two cards of tanks one is the moderna again i got that over the twardy mainly for pushing forward um because as, as you say the the twardy is more of a kind of well, I wouldn't say it's a defensive tank, but it's more defensive than the Moderna for sure. And then uh, to go with that, I've got kind of a medium tank, which hasn't got the best armor in the world. It's a T55 AM2 Dyna 1. And I got that for its ATGM weapon and range of 2,800. And I'm hoping the Modernas will shield these tanks a little bit from incoming fire, but we'll have to wait and see if that yep. theory works out in practice. And that's just my two cards of tanks. Okay. So, Onto the reconnaissance. Who's first on reconnaissance? 
I think that's me. Yeah. All right. So I got the BPZV uh, Snick Zika, uh, however you pronounce that. Uh, Snick Zika, whatever it is, yeah. The exceptional optics auto cannon uh, recon uh, for, you know, providing sight. I also got uh, two stacks of Formosa in uh, Scott twos. These are frontline infantry that will be fighting alongside the common dozy and all the other infantry I have. Yeah. Okay. And then I have the comp uh, Schwarmer, the two squad uh, uh, stealthy uh, infantry with the sniper Snipers, rifle. Yeah. Yeah. I got these in uh, the TH uh, Mi 24Ds in Elite. So these are just basically I hide around the side and they go sneak around and then I've got the MI 24D as a uh, elite helicopter. Okay. And then of course, of course I've got the uh, salamanders with their uh, anti-tank missiles. Oh yeah, I like the salamanders. Yeah, cool. What have you got Vulcan? Um well just before we go on to my stuff, I kind of I find it quite funny that um if you bring in elite camp swimmers, they actually have like over 100% accuracy. Which is yeah. hilarious. Um, but anyway, yeah. um, I have the AHS MI2 uh, for my helicopter recon. Really cheap and disposable. Uh, gets you that line of sight from the air that you, would, you wouldn't you would otherwise have from ground recon. Uh, yeah. Then I have uh, two cards of Formosa. Uh, one card has Scott 2s and one card has the MI24Ds. Um, I have only got the veteran again because I wanted the availability. Formos is just such a brilliant infantry squad. I don't want to sacrifice any to get the elite MI twenty four Ds. Okay, that's why my elite twenty four Ds are infantry. I won't be bringing on in mass. Yeah, and then I have the SPW sixty PB ABS, which is the um, just a small recon vehicle, um, really nippy. Has the eighty kilometer per hour speed and the very good recon. Um, again, something that can sit with my advancing forces to provide recon. Okay, excellent. As far as me, I've got the salamandras. I like these salamandras. Those I know. I know that you say I can say don't get weapons, big weapons on your recon it makes them too expensive. But these cocon muscle, cocon missiles are really very ac- well, pretty accurate and very deadly. I find, although the, you do only get four of them which can be a little bit of a pain sometimes if you've got a nice some nice easy targets to take out and you run out of missiles i've also got the camp swimmers the uh the same as um silver raptor and i've also got some um Yednotskis in t- tatras as well again you can use these just as infantry units in their own right as well as recon so they're my uh, three recon units vehicles then what have we got for our vehicles i think well uh, yeah i had i had, <laughs> I had one ZSUs? point left so yeah. all i did was get the prams i i i, I oh, only have the prams yes the prams at 40 okay. point you know uh, infantry support unit basically <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah, I got the ZSUs um, for a bit of extra anti-air and infantry support with those things. And uh, I also got the really, really cheap, really terrible, but really, really cheap FLA MG SBW 15-2Es. <laughs> uh, they can shoot at helicopters. Don't laugh. We watch these things shoot down a couple of helicopters for me in the trees. <laughs> and can be used for rushing as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about you silver i i got the prams but i also got some uh, uh, uh hardened conquerors behind them for more accuracy at taking out uh, heavy duty tanks and everything but those are meant only for if the if the prams won't do it i'll bring in the conquerors okay fine on to the helis i've got a full stack of helis um who's first on the helis is that you silver what you got i think helis? so uh, first thing I grabbed was the DHS Mi twenty four P with its infrared and sackcloth missiles. Of course, of course, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's so versatile. It, you don't you don't know if your opponent's going to go air rush or ground rush. Well, this will do it both. Okay, cool. And then yeah. I've even supplemented the anti air with some sockles. Yeah, set of them. Nice. I've got a set of them as well. And then I finally got some Mi-25 S24s with their uh, 
10 HE power rockets. Yep, and I got them as well. Cool. Right. Yeah. What have you got? I've just, similar? I've just got a card of the DHS and the like DHS MI24P, and I've got the MI25S24s. So I don't have the Sokols. But yeah, yeah. So pretty I've, much I've the actually, same. Yeah, cool. I've got I've got actually two cards of Sokols and MI24Ps and MI25S24s. And guess what else I've got? One guess. <laughs> MI4. Yeah, MI4. One card. Just one card this time. <laughs> I won't be able to do as much damage as last time. So. That's a lot invested on your helicopters. It is, I know. But I don't know why, I just went heavy on the helicopters. I think I'm intending to do kind of infantry pushes at the start, really, with heli rushes, I guess, with this deck. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what map we play. But I, I think the MI4 did prove it's worse that one game. Yeah, but it won't work every game, but it did work that one game. Yeah. yeah. Okay, on to the aircraft, Vulcan. Uh, what you got? Some nice aircraft. Uh, I have to start off the Su twenty two M four has the uh, two Sal missiles for taking out tanks. Nice and um, good for that. Um, yeah. Ninety five points, pretty cheap. Um, it's quite slow for its purpose. You know, it has only seven hundred and fifty kilometers per hour um, speed. But generally, you'd bring these in knowing that they're going to get away with it. Okay. Um, yeah, you you weren't tempted to go for the SU twenty four, SU M four series three thirty or whatever they're called. Uh, right? No, I just it's I just expensive. think that yeah, that like the ninety five points gives you like enough mm. to you know make a difference. Like you can bring in the Serie thirty, but it is like an extra thirty points almost, and um, you're basically yeah. putting them at, at the same risk. I guess yeah. So then after that, I have the Mig seventeen PF which is my uh, tiny little bomber with <laughs> five, two 500 kilogram bombs. Nice uh, okay. pinpoint strike <laughs> aircraft. Um, also, you can turn off the bombs and use it to uh, attack aircraft uh, with those lovely uh, 23 millimeter and 37 millimeter auto cannons. So, yeah. They just need yeah. to catch up to them with yeah, you can try, yeah. kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, then I have the MiG-29 913S. Now, I chose these over the uh, East German variant. Like, I know that the East German variant has the fire and forget missiles, which is kind of a big deal. But at the same time, um, the Semax radar missiles work just as well if you bring them in in a favorable engagement. Um, generally, when it comes to like air superiority aircraft, one or the other is going to get shot down, so it doesn't really matter if you're you've got fire and forget or semi radar missiles at the end of the day. Yeah, that's yeah, just I've how I feel. Well. About yeah, it. I've gone for them exactly the same. Yeah, the I, I I was under the assumption that semi active means that you have to have its nose pointed kind of in the general direction of yeah. its target in order to kill it. Yeah, indeed, it has to remain targeted on the aircraft. Yeah. Whereas fire and forget, they could fire it while they're in a tight curve, and they were already kind of evacuating when the missile is heading towards it. Yeah, yeah, I like, I yeah but these are good value for money, though. I think for 135 points. Yeah, they definitely are. Indeed. Um, then to finish off, I have the Su-22 M4P for the anti-radar missiles. Um, just something that would come in. It support my bombing strikes. Um, just take out those annoying like automatics or um, other heavy radar AA. So, yeah, yeah, just uh, always good to have a seed aircraft there, and that's my one of choice. Okay, cool. I'll rely on your seed aircraft then, because I haven't got one. What have you... <laughs> Me too. What have you got then, Vulcan? Uh, Silver, sorry. Um, first thing I got was the MiG-23BN with its six uh, cluster bombs. Uh, I feel that cluster bombs on aircraft are better than kind of cluster artillery due to the fact that they drop them all in the area at once. Uh, I have seen cluster artillery uh, failed to kill tanks and stuff because they're so spread out but the cluster, but cluster bombs I see kill uh, stationary tanks uh, pretty well. So I got those for the heavy tanks. And then I, yeah? yeah, we felt the uh, power of the cluster bomb in that last uh, game we did, didn't we? Do you remember? <laughs> oh yeah, really like they remind me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or T-34s. Yeah, it just depends if you want to take the chance of, uh, you know, dropping them, really. But, yeah, they are more effective as long as your plane doesn't get shot down, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I also got MiG-25 RBF with its eight 500-kilogram bombs to just saturate an area. Okay. Yeah, cool. nice bomber. 
30 yeah, percent so ECM, a thousand yeah. kilometer per, kilometer per hour speed. It's just really, really good. I've got the MiG 29 913S, same as Vulcan. I've got the SU 20. 22M4 Series 30 with the Fire and Forgets. So I've got that one anyway. I won't swap it out now. I've got it now. And I've also got the a Napalm Bomber, the MiG-29 912A as well. Um, it's got good ECM and stuff, so I thought I'd give that a try. It's also got a couple of nice anti-air missiles if it gets into any trouble as well. So I just took that thing. A bit expensive, my aircraft, but uh, we'll see what happens with them in-game. And that's my aircraft. Yeah, I, 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 I like the fact that we have uh, the napalm bombs. I think they're uh, you know, going to be really useful, especially considering I don't think either of us have the, any napalm bombs. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, my napalm and your seed will do well. So I think that's about it, yeah? Yeah. Uh, anything? Yep, cool. So it's time for your favorite unit, and I bet we're all going to pick the same one. Um. Go first, Vulcan. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I am really stuck with this one. I think uh -huh. I'm gonna go with probably the Formosa. I think really? that okay. just having like the strong infantry recon can really make a difference uh, for both defending and attacking towns, um, attacking and. Um, through forests and so on as well just in general this it, these infantry squads are just really really good so yeah, yeah that's, that's, an inter that's really interesting choice there and i have seen these things rip apart just basic rifle infantry i've seen them rip them apart they are really good what about you uh silver or was it silver that just got silver timed disconnected. out yeah i think he just got timed out but i'm gonna go for the uh dhs mi 24p because it's just a fantastic aircraft, as you said in one of the previous videos. It's amazing. Yeah, it's Don't you incredible think? for like the initial like it's it's something that you can bring in at like any point in the game and it will still do well. Um, yeah. At the beginning of the game, it can be used to counter aircraft like pushes and so on. And then later in the game, you can bring it in to like snipe uh, tanks and other vehicles on the ground. Um, you know, and and at any time you bring it in, it's generally going to be helpful. So, yeah, and it's always going to keep the enemy guessing because of all its different weaponry as well. You know, where is it? And you know, they they know if they know if they're a decent player, they know you've got these sitting behind your lines. Then they're going to have to be a little bit careful what they do. Indeed. And with that, I'd like to thank Bubblebox and Silver for allowing me to help them with their do decks videos. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure you check out that playlist in the description below. It will take you to all of the videos they have done so far on Wargame Red Dragon decks. So gameplays using these decks will be up soon, I promise. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.